Here's another little annoyance with Windows in Emacs. Uh, let's say I have my screen set up just the way I want it. I've got a few different buffers open in a few different windows. And remember when I say windows, I'm talking about these um, these panes that I can split the screen up into. And uh, I decide I'm going to go uh, commit some things uh, in Git, or I'm going to look at the Git status. So I go to my Git mode, and, um, and that opens up in one of these panes that I had open. That's fine. And then I decide to exit out of my Git mode. So I hit Q, and... Now uh, my setup is is all messed up, and uh, I have to reopen that uh, that window that I had open and find the buffer again. So uh, there's a package to uh, make this uh, make this pain go away. It's called Winner. I'm gonna go into my Emacs config. Uh, I'm gonna I go into the same file that I created in the last episode. So I'm going to go into windows.el and I'm going to say winner mode in here. So I've just executed that and I've also saved the file. And uh, and I actually uh, I cheated a little bit because I actually turned this on earlier. I'm going to show you what happens uh, when I use it. I'm going to hit control C left arrow. Uh, it says winner undo down in the uh, mini buffer, and you'll note that uh, that the buffer I had in this in this winner uh, this window uh, previously is now there. I'm going to do it again. Control C, left arrow. Oh, hey, look at that! There's that uh, there's that McGit window open again, and uh, I'm going to hit Control C, left arrow. There's the buffer that I had previously before I before I started up McGit. So what? Um, what winner does is it basically keeps a ring, a ring buffer, um, or some kind of queue, basically, of window configurations. And every time some command changes the window configuration, it uh, pushes the old configuration onto the queue or the stack, and uh, and then you can basically just pop them off the stack. And you can also do you can redo. So I can go forwards. Um, so it's pretty nice, and it's just Control C left arrow, Control C right arrow.